Hi, it's Malcolm Sheridan here. I thought I'd get into some webcasts and I thought it'd be a great start to get into a new Firefox add-on called Fire Query. This addition to Firefox allows you to debug jQuery in web pages and it also allows you to add jQuery to pages that do not have jQuery in them. So to start off, it's great to get a different profile from the normal profile that you use in Firefox. Uh, I won't take you through that process. Um, I'm assuming that you know how to do that. So basically, you can go to the Fire Query page and download Fire Query. It's just a, a beta version at this stage. But once you install it, it looks a little bit different to the normal Fire Firebug that you have installed. So I'll just open Firebug up. Now you see under the console tab you've only got clear and profile so I can click on anything and I get the HTML that's with that element. But if I close down Firefox now and I go into my Firefox that I've got Fire Query installed you'll see I've got a different screen. So if I open up Firebug now I've actually got a jQuery button here. So I can click on that and now this page has got jQuery running. So if I want to do some jQuery JavaScript, let me just find something. Actually, you know what? We'll go to the Microsoft website. Now, this will show you the power of, of Fire Query. If I open Firebug up again, click on jQuery, this page is already running jQuery. So if I can select, I'll select this text up the top, and I can see the ID there, so I'll take that, go back into the console, and I'll click on jQuery. If I come down to, think of this as like a command prompt. So I can type some jQuery code right now. So I'll just reference that piece of text up there, up the top of the page, and I'll set the HTML. I'll put in some bold, something bold. So hello world. And there you go. So we've dynamically changed the, the layout of the page simply by using jQuery. So that's pretty cool. So I'll show you another cool tip. So we'll just go to Google. Click on jQuery. So you need to click on the jQuery button if the page is not running jQuery. So it's always a good idea to click on the jQuery button. So if I select the logo, I can see down here that the ID is called logo. So if I go back into my console, I can do something fancy like this, so let's make it fade out. So if I reference the logo now, that's pretty cool. So once again, Fire Query is a new addition to Firebug, still in beta release right now, but like I said, if you're doing a lot of work with jQuery as, as I am, uh, this is a great addition to Firefox. Anyway, this is Malcolm Sheridan and hope you have a good day.